so quickly you can find how to call same class static variables and static methods in the same class so here it is our very very clear formulas i have given our blog nice formulas prepared here see excellent you can go anywhere you won't get these formulas so nice formulas you can use anywhere in any automation code or java code anywhere same formulas will work out for you so this is the one click on methods under labels and you can see here java methods and functions so static first scenario see the first scenario scenario 1 see three scenarios are there scenario 1 how to call static members in the same class in one class you have a static variables and static members how you can call them in the same class how you can execute them in the same class so we created right all this there are so many methods we created so many methods we created how many methods we created this is the one method this is another method this is another method and this is the another method and some four variables also we declared static variables i declared and this data i am using in the so very methods but how you can call these variables and these methods in the main method see first formula see the first formula what is the formula is talking about see question and answer so the scenario is you want to call static void method under main method or any other method in the same class so what is the answer just give that static method name that's answer which method you want to call that method name is void method with two parameters So which method is without parameters with void without parameters we have in this so in this four methods which is a with void without parameters division division so call the division method method name just method name call here see the answer so just the static method name method name So method name after what is there? Parenthesis. Parenthesis after what is there? Semicolon. See, errors also not there. If you follow the formula, how simple it is. Now you can execute your code. The code will execute. All the division <coughs> method will execute, and output will return to you in the console. Output will return to you in the console. See, this is started division method. C plus five expression is five, and this expression output is one twenty seven point nine nine. This is the double data, right? That's why, and end of that method. So this is the all the method output. So method output. See, these are all state. Only print statement will appear in the console. So print statements will appear. See, the method is ended here. So if the method is over, this end curly bracket sees means that is over. So that's the how to call first void without parameters. Next, so what is the next formula? How can you call static void parameterized method under main method in the same class? What is the answer? The method name you have to call, and you have to give parameter one value. Parameter two value. But to give parameter values, not parameter names. Parameter value you have to give. That's our second formula. Let's go and do that. Second formula. This is what formulas you have to focus more. 
So wherever you get the dummy methods also you create, but practice more. If you get a con so confidence on this scenario name, read the scenario first. A number of times you read, understand what you are doing this. And this is the answer for this, for this scenario name and the answer for that. So what is the scenario name? With wide, with parameters. So what is the method we have with wide, with parameters? What is the method we have with wide, with Swap, parameters? Swapping the numbers. Swapping method. So call the swapping method. Just this method name you call. Method name only. See, I have given a method name and P1 value. That means A value. Here. So what is the A data type? Integer. So you give integer data type. So what is the B data type? Integer. That's it. See? A value 30, B value 50 I have given. So this you don't need, only two parameters, right? That's why third parameters you remove. So A value, B value I have given. So then semicolon. So now see what, what should be good for you? A value should be 50 after execution of this method. B value should be 30. First A value, this is the 30. B value 50. But after execution of your method, what is the A value? 50. What is the B value? 30. So let's execute this. Whether you're getting uh, so that value or not, you can see that. See, before swapping A value 30, after swapping, what is the A value? This B value came to here and this A value went to B. So, this is the logic will do magic. Okay. If you write, you have written inside the method that logic. So you give any data here. I can give 90. I can give 200. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for you. This 2000 should go to A, 90 should go to B after every method execution. So that's what it is going to happen. See that. See, I can change the value only. Method is same logic. Logic never changes. Only that's a parameterized method advantage. Any data you can give, but logic will execute same logic for you. So that's the another one. So any questions here? Now, wide methods are done. Now, what are the methods left now? Return type methods. How can you call return type static method under main method in the same class? So what is the formula? This formula just now I have given, right? But other class one I have given, but so in the same class, how to call return type methods. Data type of the method, variable name equal to return type static method. So just call this. So formula and place it here and follow that. If you follow, it's a very easy. Yes. So you can easily write any coding, anything you can do nicely. So what is the wide method we have? Without wide method, get random. What is the written type of this method? What data it is returning this method? Double. Double. See how you can, that definition I have given, what this method is returning, double data. So return type keyword, I told you, the keyword that is placed before the method name, that's the data type of the method this is returning, so double data. Write that double. So data type place, so write the double. Then, so rand value equal to the method name. Get random double data. So that's it. Then print the value. Why am I why am assigning this method output to a variable? Because it is giving a value. Why I am not assigning here for these these methods? Why am not no, re no return type? Because ah. they are wide, yeah. They are wide. That's why they won't give a value to you. But these methods, they will give a value, and that's why you are storing in the variable. So that's a very simple concept. Remember, that's going to be very easy for you. So this is the difference you should know wide and without wide methods. The difference you should know. 
void methods doesn't give any value, but without void methods, they will give you a value. See, 0 0.92, right? Again, execute. Next time, this won't be a different data. See, 0 0.92 first time. This time, different data, 0 0.780. So random data it will generate. New data every time, new value. So that's a random dynamic data it is generating. So, okay, next formula. What is the next formula? So let's quickly finish. How can you call return type static method in print statement? Return type static method you can call in the print statement? Yes. Why? Because it is giving a value. That's why you can print it. So that's what I'm doing. So wide methods, can you call in the print statement? Can you call wide methods in the print statement? Can you call wide methods in the print statement? No. Why you, you should not call? Why you should not call wide methods in the print statement? They, they don't. Uh, yeah, they you're don't. almost closed. Oh, you're telling really correctly. Can't. Why do want to give return value? And you can't you can't use the concatenation. Why the methods they won't return any value? That's why you should not print. That's why you cannot call print method inside the method name. You should not call. So for in here, compare plus convert. Control space bar, if you press, automatically the method name will show in the panel. Even you don't need to write control space bar. Write the first one or two letters of the method name, if you remember, then control space bar you press. Automatically method name will come there. See my appending, this is the readable statement. String plus appending operator, then method name. So I'll give 45.5 Celsius, right? F cap left means uh, that's a floating value. So now you see what is the output you will get it. So don't think you say 45.5 F means uh, foreign heat. No, F represents is a floating data. Float uh, data type is there. That's what is the 113.9. So 113.9 is the 45 degrees, 45.5 degrees Celsius is 113. So let me give 43. So what is that? See, this is the easy, right? That's the coding. Same logic is working with a different data. C1110. Even I want to see in my area. So around I see now 93 Fahrenheit degree temperature. So this is a 93 degree Fahrenheit temperature it is. So 108. 42 means 100. Sometimes it is touching 198 also here. So you can see 93 if you give, so you can find out what is the Celsius degrees temperature. So this is how you can so play around with this. Sorry, we have to give Celsius, right? We need to get, so you have to write the code. So I cannot give that uh, around. Uh, 37, I think so. That's the Celsius I have to give, right? Here. For this method, you have to give Celsius, 98. Still 93, this one. That means 35. So today is rain, that's why it's uh, temperature is very low. So yeah, 95, 93, still 33 something. Okay, good. So this is the, how you can play around with these methods. Methods will give you different input data you give, but input data for which methods you can give? Parameterized methods only you can. Not for a, without parameters. A method should be parameterized. Then only you can give input data. If that method is not parameterized, you should not allow to give. Okay. So the next last one, how can you, methods I completed. So what is the last one? How can you call? How can you call, how can you access static variable in the same class? Any method inside. So what is the answer? You have to call directly static variable name. Just a static variable name. See, I'm calling all the static variables. 
C, I'm, I'm going to assign C plus one output, I'm going to assign int result equal to. So what is C plus one? See, uh, otherwise C plus I plus uh, L, that's it. I want to do that. But this will give you long data. So this is a long data, but you cannot convert it into either to typecasting. That's it. How I called all the static variables? C and I all static variables, right? How I call them? How I call them? How I call them? Directly with the variable name, right? Directly with the variable name. Are you all getting? How I am calling the static variables here? The variable name, see that? This is the variable name. Variable name. Variable name we am calling. Here also how I call them? Variable name. Variable name I am calling. So here also how I am calling? Anywhere static variable you can call directly in the same class. Any method inside you can call directly. That's what I told you. Static variables you can call in static methods as well as non-static methods directly. Here, first scenario is done. So same thing you practice and uh, you have to explain me so in advance uh, these formulas, all these formulas I want. So you have to be very, very strong on this 